So this is the SEO tool. Let's take a quick overview of the synthesizer. It's very similar to the Mini Moog Model D. We have the oscillator section over here, the main sound source. You get three oscillators. Each oscillator has an octave control here with the range and a fine-tuned control, as well as a waveform selector dial. There's some other additional controls we'll check out later on. Over here, we have the mixer section where you can control the level of the three oscillators, but you also get a feedback as well as a noise signal level control. Now, between the oscillator and mixer section, you get an X mod section. So these three dials give various types of cross modulation effects. The first one is oscillator 2 modulating filter cutoff. The next one is oscillator 3 modulating the pitch of oscillator 2. And the last one is oscillator 3 modulating the pulse width of oscillator 1 as well as oscillator 2. Alright, next here we have the filter section as well as the envelope section. These are the controls for your filter. Standard 24 dB per octave low pass ladder filter. There's a contour dial for filter cutoff modulation. And right below we have the two ADS envelopes. You also get a switch to engage the release stage of the envelope. Next to this is the LFO section. You have controls for rate and waveform selection. It can modulate the pitch of the oscillators as well as the filter cutoff. And there's some other switches here we'll check out later on in more detail. Lastly, we get a digital delay effect unit here. So that's the only audio component that is digital. Over here in the control section, you have options for glide. There are different glide modes. And then at the bottom over here, we have switches for selecting presets using the step sequencer as well as the song mode. So I just switched to the sequencer mode. And now we have controls for the sequencer. And then this is the song mode. We'll check out all these features in detail in this course. This dial over here can be used to change values that you see on the screen. I'm scrolling through the different songs. In patch mode, you can select a particular patch. Or you can also use a dial to kind of browse through the different patches. The dial also has a push button, so you can use that to override presets. It's blinking right now because we need to push that again. But for now, I'll just exit out of here. We'll take a look at loading and saving presets in the next tutorial. So stay tuned for that.